We are here at Plaza Singapura today where a group of polytechnic students are trying to gather support for a petition to fight for fairer transportation fees. So far, 5,000 signatures have been gathered. Today, we are going to speak to some members of the public and some students in order to find out what they think. So basically, you are the organizers of this. Hi Bernard, we're from the Online Citizen. Can we ask you a few questions? Certainly. Okay, so what's this entire petition about? At this, this petition is basically um, a campaign to, to, to actually fight for the rights of um, tertiary students, poly, polytechnic students especially. We are saying that the fares are unfair. The difference is 80 to 89 percent, and thereby we are saying that we should have a fairer system or fairer mechanism for which we can uh, implement our, our concession fares. Are you looking for equal fares to those that JC students and ITE students are getting right now? No, we are not looking for equal fares. We are looking for fairness in the fair mechanism. So, how has the response been so far? The response has been very, very encouraging. Uh, till date, we have approximately 5,000 actual signatures. Okay, we recently heard that there was a meeting with the Public Transport Council. How did that go? Um, it was. It came as a surprise to us that um, the Public Transport Council, together with SMRT, SBS Transit, and Transit Link, initiated a meeting with organizers of this petition. It was a healthy and a very constructive discussion. We proposed our uh, so called proposal to them, and I understand from them they will consider this proposal. Adults, as you understand, they have a fair mechanism which, uh, which uh, prices can be implemented on a, on a yearly basis, but there is actually one that is lacking for students. So we actually also propose that uh, we, we, want a, the, so we want the first step out in the initiation of a more permanent uh, and a fairer concession fair mechanism for students. We are now into the consolidation period of this campaign. Uh, this campaign is three months old. Now we are we have, we have gotten to a good start. I think it's a good time to consolidate this campaign. We are looking for um, partnerships, endorsements from either individuals, members of the public and even student groups within uh, MDIS and SIM. We actually currently propose to groups in S MDIS and SIM to, to work with us, to partner with us in fighting for a concession, a fairer concession for them as well. Hi, we're from the Online Citizen. Could we ask you a, a few questions? No problem. So why did you get involved in this petition? Well, personally, I feel it's unfair and something has to be done. And I can't just sit around and do nothing. I think I should go out and uh, find a way of how to get this uh, unfairness justified. Yep. So what has the response from the public been like so far? The response has been positive, very, very positive. You know, um, very rarely anyone turned our petition down. We got response from parents, students, um, even uh, grandmothers, you know, uh, oh my grandson, you know, so it has been very, very positive. Yeah. Um, hi, we're from the Online Citizen. Could we ask you a few questions? Yes, no problem. Okay. So why did you decide to sign this petition? Uh, because the uh, concession bus is too expensive for us, plus the train concession. Yeah, we do have the... We do have the Ability to, to afford to pay yeah. so Do you think that it will make a difference? Yes, of course. I think if yeah. everyone combine our powers and <laughs> our our signatures, our petition, we can we can fight for this opportunity. Yeah. Yes. Hi, we're from the Online Citizen. Could we ask you a few questions? Okay. So what made you decide to sign this petition? Uh, well, I think that like, uh, it's quite unfair. Of course, like, if you go poly, like, you have to pay more. Then if you like, go JC or ITE, like, you have to pay less. Uh. Hi, we're from the Online Citizen. Could we ask you a few questions? Um, sure. Yeah, sure. No okay. So how did you get involved in this petition? Okay, um, actually our classmate, uh, Mr. Bernard Chen, he approached us one day uh, regarding this national petition for, transport, for fairer transport fares. So he explained to us this movement and we decided that uh, we should actually get involved to make a difference in 
in the students' life regarding the transport fees. So what made you decide to start joining this petition and helping out with them? Actually, uh, I'm a second year police student right now. Um, what made me join this petition is because I felt that the prices for police students are actually very um, too high, a little bit too high for us. Because since we graduate from secondary school altogether, some will leave to JC, some will leave to ITE, or some will go poly. But I don't see the reason why poly students should pay up to 90% more higher prices than as compared to JC and IT students. I feel that something must be done. If no one steps out to do anything, poly students will have to just stay and just pay this, which I feel is very quite unreasonable. La. So that's why I've helped out trying to play my, uh, play my part, see whether I can help in changing the situation now. La. Uh, I would say the response has been quite good, um, both in like the public side, people have been supporting us. We also have been talking to our friends. Our friends are actually uh, gathering their support by placing advertisements um, around their blogs and their MSNs. And they are actually seriously considering our proposal. So I think we are doing actually quite fine at this stage, but we do need more support from the people of Singapore, the students especially, to help us push this petition so that it can be implemented faster and earlier la, for the sake of the students. La.